Hello, chemistry enthusiasts. Welcome to Chemistry Studio, your ultimate destination for all things chemistry. I want to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you who supports this channel. Thank you for being a part of our growing community of passionate learners. Your support, likes, shares, and comments inspire us to create more engaging and informative content. If you haven't already, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button below, so you never miss an exciting chemistry video. And remember to like, share, and spread the word about Chemistry Studio to help us reach more curious minds. Welcome, students. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the electromagnetic spectrum. Get ready to explore the colorful universe of light and learn about the different types of waves that make up this incredible spectrum. This is because we are about to study the structure of atom, and Bohr's model of atom, and that requires a fundamental knowledge of spectrum. Before we begin, let's define what the electromagnetic spectrum ID is. The electromagnetic spectrum is the range of all possible frequencies of electromagnetic radiation, from radio waves with the lowest frequency to gamma rays with the highest frequency. It encompasses a wide range of waves, each with its own unique properties and applications. To better understand the electromagnetic spectrum, let's break it down into its main components. We have radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma rays. Each component has its own characteristics and uses. Let's start with radio waves. These waves have the longest wavelength and lowest frequency in the spectrum. They are used for telecommunications, broadcasting, and even satellite communication. Our radios and televisions depend on these waves to transmit signals over long distances. Moving on, we have microwaves. These waves have a shorter wavelength than radio waves and are commonly used for cooking. Microwaves also play a crucial role in radar technology, allowing us to detect objects and measure their distance. Next up is infrared radiation. It lies just beyond the red end of the visible light spectrum. Infrared waves are known for their ability to transfer heat energy. They are used in applications like night vision technology, remote controls, and even thermal imaging cameras. Now, let's focus on the visible light portion of the spectrum. Visible light is the range of electromagnetic waves that our eyes can perceive. It consists of different colors, each with its own wavelength and frequency. When these colors blend together, they create white light. The visible light spectrum ranges from violet, with the shortest wavelength and highest frequency, to red, with the longest wavelength and lowest frequency. The colors in between include indigo, blue, green, yellow, and orange. Each color corresponds to a specific wavelength and frequency. The unique properties of visible light make it crucial for our sense of sight. It allows us to perceive the world around us, appreciate art, and enjoy vibrant sunsets. It's truly a remarkable part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Moving further, we have ultraviolet radiation. Ultraviolet waves have a shorter wavelength than visible light and are known for their ability to cause sunburn and damage to our skin. However, they also have beneficial uses, such as sterilization and fluorescent lighting. Next, we delve into X-rays. These high-energy waves have even shorter wavelengths and can penetrate through soft tissues in our bodies. X-rays are widely used in medical imaging, allowing doctors to visualize bones and diagnose various conditions. Finally, we reach the highest energy waves in the electromagnetic spectrum, gamma rays. Gamma rays have the shortest wavelength and highest frequency. They are produced by nuclear reactions and can be extremely dangerous. However, they have important applications in cancer treatment and sterilization. Let's continue by discussing the concepts of continuous spectrum, line spectrum, emission spectrum, and the discovery of helium in the sun. Now that we've explored the different components of the electromagnetic spectrum, let's focus on two important types of spectra, continuous spectrum and line spectrum. These spectra provide valuable insights into the composition of light sources. A continuous spectrum is a smooth, unbroken range of colors or wavelengths. It contains all the colors of the visible light spectrum seamlessly blending together. When white light passes through a prism, it creates a continuous spectrum, revealing the full range of colors. On the other hand, a line spectrum, also known as a discrete spectrum or an atomic spectrum, consists of individual lines of specific colors or wavelengths. Unlike the continuous spectrum, a line spectrum shows only certain distinct colors rather than a smooth transition of all colors. 
Line spectra are often referred to as fingerprints of elements because each element has a unique line spectrum. When an element is excited, such as by heating it or passing an electric current through it, it emits light at specific wavelengths that correspond to its atomic structure. These emitted wavelengths appear as bright lines on the spectrum, indicating the presence of specific elements. By analyzing the pattern of these lines, scientists can identify the elements present in a sample or even determine the composition of distant stars and galaxies. This brings us to the concept of emission spectra. An emission spectrum is produced when light emitted by a substance, either in the form of a gas or a heated solid, is passed through a prism or a spectroscope. It reveals the specific wavelengths of light emitted by that substance. Now, let's delve deeper into the fascinating story of the discovery of helium, a remarkable element found right here on Earth and in the depths of the cosmos. The discovery of helium can be traced back to the mid-19th century when scientists were studying the sun's spectrum during a total solar eclipse. It was during these observations that an astronomer named Jules Janssen and a chemist named Norman Lockyer independently made a groundbreaking observation. While analyzing the spectrum of sunlight, they noticed a bright yellow line that did not correspond to any known element at the time. This new line was distinct and did not match the characteristic spectral lines of any known element on Earth. This discovery perplexed scientists for many years. It was not until 1895, when the Scottish chemist Sir William Ramsey began experimenting with a mineral called clevite, that the mystery began to unravel. Ramsey, along with his colleague Robert W. Gray, conducted a series of experiments in which they extracted a gas from the clevite mineral. They noticed that this gas emitted a spectrum that matched the unidentified yellow line observed in the sun's spectrum. Through rigorous analysis and experimentation, Ramsey and Gray determined that this gas was a new element. They named it helium after the Greek word helios, meaning the sun, as its discovery was closely linked to the observations of the solar spectrum. Now, let's explore one of nature's most enchanting spectacles, the rainbow. A rainbow is a beautiful and captivating phenomenon that showcases the true magic of the spectrum in action. Let's not go into details of how a rainbow is formed. The colors of the rainbow appear in a specific order, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Each color corresponds to a specific wavelength of light, and when all the colors come together, they create the beautiful spectrum that we witness in the rainbow. Rainbows have captured the imagination of humanity for centuries, inspiring myths, stories, and works of art. They serve as a constant reminder of the power and beauty of light and the incredible phenomenon of the spectrum. That concludes our exploration of the electromagnetic spectrum, continuous spectrum, line spectrum, emission spectrum, and the fascinating discovery of helium in the sun, plus the all-beautiful rainbow. Remember, the spectrum holds the key to unraveling the secrets of the universe, and through its study, we continue to expand our understanding of the world around us. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I will be back very soon, with the next beautiful video for you. Keep watching my channel. The intellectual odyssey rages on. Love chemistry.